dark in her, isn't it? Yay! Hi everyone, so it's now Sunday and I'm back in the van to do one last day of DIY jobs before I go back to work. But I'm really, really thankful for all your lovely comments and any ideas you've passed my way because it's considerably helped me rethink certain things. Um, even if you've been commenting me on Facebook, it's been really appreciated. So today, I'm actually going to cut down this piece for the electrics area. It needs to be an inch smaller. My fiance's already cut it down, but the reason it's red is just because I painted it for um, some food photography and then I said, let's just use this. I'd rather use stuff we've got rather than buying extra things. And it's just standard plywood to me. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be sturdy enough because I am playing around with the idea of creating a dog seat there, a cushiony sort of like ottoman top dog seat. And we've got swivel chairs, which might be in the way. So I've really got to just cut this down. I've just got to judge it for myself because I haven't got the foam yet. And um, we might not even go with that idea anyway, so we'll see. So that's what I'm about to do. And later today, we are going to cut holes in the ceiling for four LED lights. Again, we don't know if that's gonna be enough. So I've got to just, um, I think we're gonna have like three along the center and one here, which is in front of the right side sliding door to aim down on this imaginary kitchen we've got here because it's not there yet. And nearly forgot, I actually went to Tops Tiles to get a soft cream tile trim to just create a trim here and maybe here don't know yet if we need the two on either side if you can see that over there just there um it was a, a quite a cool idea that my dad came up with because we didn't have big enough wood for it we needed something flexible for the top again we don't know if we're going to necessarily keep this we were going to just carpet the roof um it's not too late to do that but this is very, very useful for um, cutting holes out. We've been to Screwfix and we've got a circular holy thing. I can't remember the names of these things, but we've tested it and it's really cool. So hopefully this will just look smarter, but it's a huge improvement to what it was. And I have bought some screw caps as well to cover up these screws. And I've also bought some screw caps to cover here, but again, couldn't find grey or black. Screwfix have completely sold out of their selection of screw caps, so I had to buy them on the basis. I'm going to spray paint them. Screwfix are changing the catalogue at the minute, so not everything is in stock, so I might just go back and get those, but I just don't like these screws um, being visible, that's all. So it'd be good just to tidy things up a little bit and hopefully I can go around the rest and do those, but I really just want some dark grey ones. I think it'd be much easier. Just got to find some. If you know where they are, let me know below. And I think that's it. So I'm going to get cracking. So I've now marked where the lights are going to go. We've done a dummy run and it's going to look like that one there. By the way, if you do want to try and do that yourself, it was about £5.80 odd from Tool Station for that, I can't remember what it's called again, but um, everything was included and it was like half the price or you know, three times cheaper than Screwfix. So highly recommended and they fit like gloves. Oh yay! <laughs> I look very cheeky. That is amazing. And the fact that we did this is cool. Well, my fiance did that. So I'm not totally happy with the finish at the minute, but we've used these really easy cap things just to go on top. I really wouldn't recommend spray painting these because it just came off and I did try and sand one. And because I use gloss spray, you could see every floor. So I'm gonna buy some online and watch this. Oh. 
So I think that's us done for the day, but unfortunately we had to go for this basic shelf because the, um, the seats wouldn't swivel around and we tried to get it in without removing the chair and that's what we wanted. Anyway, I hope that was really useful to some of you and please keep the comments coming because we could do with all the advice we can get. And this week it's all going to be about sourcing some blinds. I've asked on the Facebook Veto group and trying to look at some kitchen slash rock and roll bed, everything to match because I want something that's really good quality just so it doesn't bring anything down. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.